Hey guys, so we're gonna do a video I typically don't do. So I usually don't do Ipsy unboxings. So Ipsy bought BoxyCharm. So I actually think that this could be something cool. I have not opened this new subscription. This is the first one that I've actually gotten since they sent me the email that Ipsy bought out BoxyCharm. Um, this should be like the first one that I've received since I got that email. Whether the stuff inside has changed yet or if it's the, you know, the combination of the two yet, I'm not sure. But I do think that in the future we're going to start seeing hopefully an improvement between Ipsy and BoxyCharm since now they've merged to one. Maybe not. Maybe yes. But I said, you know what, let's start doing some unboxings on my channel of this subscription box because if it is going to get really good, then I definitely want to share it with you guys and do a whole entire video on it. Today's video, I'm not gonna be doing a try on just because I filmed a video before this trying on a lot of new makeup and I am pressed for time. But if in the future you guys want me to try on some of the products that come inside of these boxes, let me know. But um, today we're just gonna skip through it and show you what came in this box. So this is the box and this is the assortment for what month? I think, yeah, March. So this is the March assortment. So I have both the glam bag and also the regular bag. So sometimes they mix everything together inside of these PR boxes. So I'm gonna kind of show you what I got, but like I don't know 100% if this is the correct assortment. They kind of mix some of the stuff that was in the glam bag with the glam bag plus. So just so you guys know, I will list down below if I can find what is supposed to go in each bag. But typically the Glam Bag is gonna have like little samples and the Glam Bag Plus, if they're still gonna call it that, will have more like what you would see in a regular BoxyCharm subscription. So it would have like the bigger full sized items. So let me show you guys first what the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. So this is the Ipsy Glam Bag. This is what's gonna come in it this month. So inside of here we have a Tarte Sore Lash Treat. So it looks just like this. And what is that? Is that like an, oh yeah, it's mascara. So it's a tart little mini mascara, which is good. Um, next we have the Kinship Vitamin C Eye Brightening Cream. I feel like this Kinship brand is always inside of this subscription box. I've gotten a few Ipsy's before and there's always a Kinship in there. Like it's like a new thing. So then we have here, Hey Honey. This is a Make a Splash Intense Hydrating Aqua Serum. So a serum. And then we also have the Glow On Fifth Beauty Pore Affecting Detoxing Mud Mask. So it looks like that. And then finally in here there is a Pore Nova. This is an eyeliner from a brand that I don't know. And the bag. Um, it's okay, I wouldn't say that this was the best Ipsy glam bag that I've ever opened. I actually think it was probably kind of boring. So that one didn't really impress me, didn't knock my socks off, but I'm more excited to see what's in the Glam Bag Plus. I honestly personally think the Glam Bag Plus is the better subscription. Even with BoxyCharm, I used to love the BoxyCharm BoxyCharm. And now that they're kind of like merged into one, I'm assuming that this is gonna be like an ultimate. So we've got in here the First Day Beauty Mineral Sunscreen. So this is SPF 30. That's actually a really good product and that's a nice one. So we have an REN Barrier Support Elixir. So I do like that subscription boxes typically put a lot more skincare in their boxes because skincare is one of the most expensive things. And I do know that it's a lot better to get it in a subscription box. So this is good. This is the Wonder Beauty Sun Kiss Getaway Eye and Face Palette. So this could actually be really nice. Let's look at this. Wonder Beauty is a good brand. And, ooh, very pretty. That's a really subtle, very useful palette that I think a lot of people would actually really, really like. Okay, so that one is really pretty. And this color, Bellini, that is speaking to me. That's a really pretty blush. I like this. This is really pretty. I can see myself taking this with me on vacations because it has like those colors that I would typically wear. Then we have here the Lovato Inspired by Nature. What is this? Aromic Body Lotion. I do like they typically put body lotions inside these subscription boxes. I'm somebody who does use body lotion a lot, so I like to not really like pay full price for them, so I like that. 
Oh, and then here we have an Ofra Long Lasting Lipstick. So this side was pretty good. So I would say between the face palette, the Wander Beauty sunscreen, that's really nice. And then this lip product from Ofra, which Ofra does have really good long liquid lipsticks. And this is a nice color. It's not like a throwaway color, which sometimes subscription boxes will give you like the crappiest colors inside of the box because it's like the one that didn't sell. This is actually a really nice color. So I'll swatch it for you so you can get an idea. Yeah, yeah that's a really pretty color. I'm gonna like that color. It's kind of like a mauve-y, but it has, a, a, it has enough pink in it to make it like a neutral mauve for me. I'm excited for that. So I do actually like the Glam Bag Plus. The Glam Bag Plus was really nice. Wander Beauty has really good makeup products. Ofra's liquid lipsticks I really do like. A mineral sunscreen with an SPF of 30 going into the summer. Living in Miami, always useful. First Aid Beauty has a really good wrap too. Um, then we have body lotion, which is also really good for the summer. And I've never tried this REN brand, REN, and I've never tried this. This is an elixir, but this could be interesting. Um, one thing that I've noticed is that we don't get like prices inside of these bags. I would love to see like how much the stuff costs because that is the fun part of even like the BoxyCharm subscription was being able to see how much everything cost, you know? So I am excited to see how this subscription box is going to improve or change. I have a feeling that maybe this one was too soon and maybe in the next coming months we're gonna start to see something change. But yeah, I kinda wanna start doing these videos because I feel like something is going to change. I feel like this is gonna be a good thing. So I want to be able to show it to you guys. So. Hopefully that happens. This one I think was okay, but like I said, I don't, I don't, I don't believe that this is the start. I believe that this is the start of something that's going to improve. So I'm excited to share with you guys the upcoming boxes. So let me know what you guys think of this one. I am gonna link down below the Ipsy subscription information in case you're interested with a lot of details. And yeah, what did you guys think? Did you like it? Did you not like it? And what would you guys like for me to do in future videos where I show you guys this box? I will see you guys in the next video.